Fight to the centre. Fight to the centre. All right, over here, please. Bring that belt, darling. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Guys, this is for the Sunday Brawl K1 belt. Be ready. Five rounds of two minutes of action. No elbows to the head. No knees to the head. One knee in the clinch. When I say break, you break. Any question? Any questions? Touch glove. Back off. And get ready for war! Band Dogs MMA. This guy is, this is going to be an excellent, excellent striking, excellent strike fest. Just like I said, Hussein Garabet is going to come out with a one-two low kick, the meat into veg, and the overhand right straight. Now, Eddie Kelly is going to look to counter the kicks with punches and use the tip, the push kicks, for his jab to keep a range. I mean, he is the bigger of the two fighters. I've never seen Hussein get in with someone smaller than him. Every fighter has been longer, taller, and probably heavier a lot of the time as well. Oh, don't worry about that. Hussein Garabet has been called the Turkish snake for a reason. He likes to go in there and fight. Yeah, I mean, Look at his left breast, his left chest. He's got the heart of a lion right there. He will fight anybody, anywhere, anytime. He does not take or need four months in advance of training. He trains all the time, every time. He is ready for a fight. He was born ready to fight. Now, Eddie Kelly as well is the same caliber of fighter. People don't know Eddie Kelly, but Eddie Kelly goes out there, fights, gives it out there. He knows K1. He does K1. Striking, punching, kicks. I mean, watching both fights here, they're both feeling each other out at the moment. You know, this is quite an evenly matched fight. Obviously, Sunday Paul always put on great fights. I want to see if Huss is going to follow through with what he normally does. He comes through with some big knockouts in the second round. You know, loves to stop his opponents, loves the big body shots. Ed Kelly? Oh, def definitely. These guys are seasoned K1 fighters. What they do is, from the first round, they always see what the opponent has. Look for the weak spot, look for the weak spot, throw two punches, three punches in, low kicks in, see the openings, and then the second round, it starts going in. Now, what we're going to look forward to is a tougher second round and a harder third. Into round two. Now, Kez, you just told me these guys are going to pace us up. I agree with you. See, just like I said, now they're going to look for the head shots, the body kicks, low kicks. And Kelly wants to look for the low kicks and the, and the punches. Low kick and punches. Puss is looking for that kick and a knee, kick and a knee, knee and a kick, kick and a knee, and overhand right. I mean, Huss is dishing out a lot of punishment onto that front leg. Oh, definitely, definitely. We're watching Ed Kelly now. He's standing a lot more on his back leg. He's keeping it raised. He's keeping scared. Puss straight in there. Well, you see that stance that Kelly has is a classic Muay Thai stance as well, whereas they use the lead leg as a tap on the floor to, the, to deceive you, to jab in. But Hussein Garabet knows that technique, hence him working on that leg. Well, in the clinch now, Ed Kelly is going for the body and the knees. Hussein Garabet too is looking for that knee. Now we're watching the clinch. The clinch is both guys working out of it there. Ed Kelly there with a little smile. Now, Hussein it just keeps working the angles. He's coming forward, he's always slipping his head. He's constantly punishing that front leg. Ed Kelly, he looks like he's playing a little bit more off the back leg, wanting to hold this back. See, Ed Kelly wants to go with a left leg kick, left leg push to the stomach, front kick, front kick, side kick, and then right leg low kick the whole time. He does not want to go in an exchange with Hussein. Hence, hence is pushing with the, with the kicks. Hence pushing with the kicks. And that was, that, that was a low blow right there for Hussein. Yeah, there was a nutcracker right there. 
Oh, these things happen. They happen. When you go for a low kick and your and your opponent sweeps and jumps out of the way, sometimes it happens. What the crowd, what the crowd does not understand is, once you get hit in the nuts, it takes out all the energy in your body. Well, the other thing, it's a creeping up pain as well. Oh, definitely, definitely. So it hurts to be stepping out now. It'll still be hurting, and it gets worse. Look, you can see it. Ed Kelly there is telegraphing his kicks. Now, this is Hussain's territory. By the side of the cage, he'll block you in and knock you out. Wow, here we go into round three of this five-round battle. Robert. Wow, Eddie Kelly is coming out, guns blazing, throwing strikes. Hussein slipped earlier. That was not a knockdown. And Kelly wants to work, wants to work for the, wants to work for the win, wants to work for the win the whole time. He knows from a second round that rock, that rock, that overhand right that was connected with made him win. Yeah, he was win that round. So now he wants to work on the on the third round to win. The problem with Hush for all fighters is you're not going to stop him. He will keep going. Like we talked about in Turkish pride, the guy is relentless. You know, I think Ed Kelly as well. He's telegraphing his kicks a little bit too much, which Hush could utilise. Now Hush has got the rage in his eyes. This is going to be a fan fight spectacular. Ed Kelly there working out front leg. I'm looking for Hurst to come forward hard. This is what I'd like to see. Ed Kelly just Hurst. taking him round. Yeah. Hussein Garabay has his hands down and his chin up. He needs to put his hands up and his chin down. Because Ed Kelly has got some wicked head kicks. And that's something to look out for in Ed, Ed Kelly's fight there. <laughs> well, you can see Ed Kelly here. He is telegraphing the kicks, but there's a lot of power in him as well. And if you're showing it off, if you've got the power to back it up, you're going to go all the way. Louis King, he might telegraph that left hook, but nothing is getting in the way once it's going. Oh, the spinning back fist. This is pulling out the big knockout blows. Ends of round four. Ed Kelly coming out fast. Who's with the big block? <coughs> now these are the championship rounds, round four, round five. These guys are gonna go all the way in, all the way in. Ed Kelly is coming out looking like he's got good cardio on him. Consistent, hard, powerful. Hussein Garabet is looking for that opening, always walking forward, always going into Ed Kelly's attacks. Yeah, are you watching Hussein? Now Hussein's got a real aggressive temperament about him. Ed Kelly's coming forward. This fight is gonna go toe to toe. I'd like to see Hus get in tighter. You know, Ed Kelly is using his length to his advantage. Oh definitely. Ed Kelly's using his range and his height to his advantage. He knows he does not want to get into the fight, <coughs> into, the, into the striking. So what it does is it, it uses his range, jabs, goes out, then goes in for the clinch and then works the punches in the clinch. But what he's doing right now is he's out striking Hus. Hus has to come back in with the knockout and start out striking him because this is two rounds remaining. Ed Kelly with a good body shot, a body tip, and Horst came with a with the swings, and right now somebody's bleeding. Yeah. Who's just started to dish out that overhand right? Only one of them needs to connect, and if he's throwing them, one will. Ed Kelly there, beautiful bit of technical work there, abusing the thigh, giving it a few little, little softeners. Oh, definitely. Ed Kelly is doing the smart game, working the legs the whole time. Working the horse's left leg, his hands in the clinch, using the hands to strike on the legs. Wow. That was a massive left hook and a huge knee to the head to Hush. How Hush is standing after that is absolutely warrior material. Now the clinch keeps opening just enough that it counts. Hush's Hussein's game slowed down since the groin kick. 
if you realize that, just like I said, once you get hit in the groin, it takes out the power from your strikes. It slows you down. No one likes a nutcracker. Oh, no one likes it. I don't like it, you don't like it, we don't like it. The mummy daddy button should be left well alone. And the boxes, what people don't realize is, a little bit of the Frank and Beans can spill out over the side. You know, even if you're marginally well equipped. That gets caught, wow. I don't care if you broke your hand. Well, that's me, just beat me. But um, fight are safety at all times, and um, you know, there's always another fight tomorrow. I'm, I'm very proud of what you've done, so give it up for Hussein, guys. <laughs> all right, you want to thank you all, man? Uh, thank everyone for coming out, all the people that I trained with. Um, hopefully, I would have done a lot better if I didn't break my hand, but I did break it midway through the second round and just kept fighting through. I couldn't clench my hand, so I was having to. Punching my hand open. Alright, that's good though, but anyway, I want to pick up my man here, because um, I still feel that you, you've improved. The last time I've seen you, you've improved, brother. Yeah, what, what have you been doing? I fought Teach the last time I was here, and you're a guy, yeah. and uh, it was a scrap, very scrappy fight. This one is now more technical, I think, because uh, well, Winston's just after opening up a new Jimmy Mitchum, so we've kind of trained from twice a week to maybe three or four times a week so we train a little bit more yeah and we've just got a new Thai coach Leo so I've been kind of training he's been training me on my low kicks yeah I see you using the range more than what you yeah. did before you did a lot of swinging you did there yeah. control the fight I thought oh, you're doing good mate he's a, a new head I saw here you know so really I'll, I'll give it up to you well yeah. done yeah yes. you know what but now but now but now you give it up for him, but I know there's a lot of guys out here who does, uh, he's looking, he's looking, he's looking at your belt. They're looking at your belt now. I can see some eyes peering in. I see eyes peering in. So, keep doing what you're doing, brother, because people will be asking you for your belt soon, all right? It gets harder now. Huh? It gets harder now. It does get harder. Well done, Eddie. Give me up for him. I will say. 